So now we need to build a multicam clip. When it comes time to synchronize a multicam clip, we've got several different options. The easiest is to synchronize based upon audio. Audio which is recorded on all the cameras at the same time. The benefit is this is easy, but it's not fast, and it requires audio to be recorded on all the cameras at the same time. If you don't have audio recorded on all the cameras at the same time, you then have several other options. Let me illustrate. I'm going to select the four clips that I want to build into a multicam clip, go up to the file menu, go down to New Multicam Clip. The first time this shows up, this is the simple setting. We could just create a multicam clip. I'll just label it multicam clip. And notice that I can use audio for synchronization. If I have audio on all the clips that I'm building in a multicam clip, watch what happens. I'll click OK. It takes a little bit of time to figure out how to get the clips to sync up. And there's my multicam clip indicated by this little four thingy up in the, the top left corner works perfectly okay, except if you've got a multicam clip which is an hour long and your cameras didn't all start at roughly the same time, syncing can take not just a few seconds but several minutes as Final Cut figures out how all the audio lines up. It can take a long time. So we have other options. If I select my clips, go up to the File menu, go down to New, Create a Multicam Clip, and uncheck Use Audio for Synchronization and click Use Custom Settings. Now we've got a lot more controls. I'm going to call this My Multicam Clip. Under Angle Assembly, automatic means that if the camera angle is empty and if the camera name is empty, it bases it on the file name. So that's what we talked about earlier. Or I can say Build the Order Based Upon Camera Name. That's the field in the inspector. Or Build the Order Based Upon Camera Angle. In this case, I'll build it on Camera Angle to prove a point. I always leave angle ordering at automatic. I don't change it. But here, under synchronization, automatic means that if audio is checked, it will sync on audio. If time code matches, it will match the time code of the four shots. Content created is the date and time the clip was recorded. It's plus or minus a second. It's my least favorite of all these options, and I never use it. Start of the first clip we'll use when we're working with audio only, and first marker we'll use in just a couple of minutes. For right now, I want to use time code. Look at how quickly the multicam clip is displayed compared to when I synchronize based upon the audio in two, one, woof, and there's the clip. It's almost instantaneous because time code is easy to read and very fast, whereas synchronizing on audio can take a while. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at multicam editing inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this webinar, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinar 173. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.